Hello, and welcome to the second in our series of quick start videos. In this video, we will look at creating a case. A case is your centralized workspace for your evidence objects and analysis in Xways Forensics. In the left of your Xways Forensics interface, you can see the case data pane. Clicking on File in the case data pane, you will see two options available. Let's create a new case by clicking on Create New Case. In the window that opens, you will see various properties we can assign to this case. Let us give this case a name. You can add a description and also your own details here. Click OK. You can now see in the case data pane your case. Clicking on the file menu now and you can see all the options are now available. Our case is currently empty, so let us add some evidence objects. On the bottom of the file menu, you will see that you can add a disk, directory, file, memory dump, or disk image file into your case. I am going to add a selection of disk image files. Once the evidence objects have been added, you can see them listed in the case data pane. You can use the directory browser for navigation as you would do in Windows File Explorer. You can also use the case data pane for navigation by clicking on folders or the expand button. Right clicking on an evidence object in the case data pane brings up a context menu. Let's look at the properties. The properties of the evidence object include details such as any detected operating system, file system, and the imaging details. You may add your own comments to the evidence object in this panel. We can also see the hash values of the source data. You can verify the hashes by clicking on Verify Hash. As we have seen, you may use either the case data pane or the directory browser for navigation. There is also a context menu when you right click on a folder in the case data pane. You can change this behavior in the general options so that when you right click on a folder, it automatically explores recursively from that folder. Exploring recursively shows the contents of not just the selected folder, but the contents of the subfolders as well. In Xways Forensics, there are two ways of interacting with items, selecting or tagging. Selecting items highlights them in blue in the directory browser list. Tagging them fills in the square next to the name. Selecting an item allows these items to be used with one of the many functions in Xways Forensics. We use tagging to group items for further use as they remain in this state until untagged. 